Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. Today we're taking a look at Everseed, a upcoming play to earn project that is going to be a farm to tabletop MMO. And uh, if you guys are a fan of crypto gaming or blockchain gaming, consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Your support means a lot and it goes a long way. And right now we'll look into their sub stack page. You know, it's kind of give an, a general idea of what is Everseed. So first, what is Everseed? It is kind of difficult to put like a label on it. Um, so when you're in Everseed, your first venture, venture out on like a roguelike run, engaging in tower defense style gameplays to push back the blight and collect valuable resources, then you can return home from your adventures to safe spaces where you can not only unwind, but you can, you know, you can use what you've collected to grow and build great things with other players. So Everseed will be a live service game built to be an excellent player experience for the long term. And because of this, I think it's going to make the gameplay loop pretty well. And this is, again, on their Substack, And they have a couple other articles on there as well as, as you can take a look at. The game is very early in, in early development. So I was trying to get as much information for it as I could. And if we see here, so, you know, why do you go on adventures? The world that you are going to be in with Everseed has been corrupted by a magical blight. So you are given an Everseed, a seed with powerful cleansing magic, and you are tasked to bring in that Everseed to the blighted spaces in the wilderness, planting it and protecting it until it has fully bloomed, hence where the tower defense mode comes in. So you can see, like, your Everseed right here with the blights coming in and your defenses that you can set up right here with Everseed. So, you know, you might have like a low skill floor, high skill ceiling, uh, just how the gameplay is being described right here. But I do like tower defenses personally, but I mean, Everseed is aiming to be more than just a tower defense. Again, it is going to be that MMO. The cool thing about Everseed is that, you know, there are a couple notes here is brought up, you know, they will never compromise the core player experience through monetization. So it is free to play. Players are the lifeblood of the social game. So they must be able to play the game and enjoy freely. So that is very nice to see. And they are oriented to, you know, sustainability. If we look, Everseed, look at their Twitter. Everseed is the next-gen gaming coming 2022 by Studio of Industry Veterans from Riot Games. That is very huge here. So some of the guys from Riot Games have developed their own entertainment gaming studios. And I could be mispronouncing this, but Amahan, Amahan? Uh, entertainment, and I do apologize. You know, they see their vision here. These are the guys behind Everseed. You know, welcome to Emahand. We are a progressive game studio aiming to redefine both what it means to be a developer and a player. If we look, you know, some of their core values, and a really cool thing is that they do have a docs team right here. You can hit their information and go to their LinkedIn pages, you know, with Kenneth, Naomi, Paul, and Hannah, and they do show some of the other team as well. And you, know, you can contact them. That is their team page right there. But if you look at Everseed here, you can register, you know, put in, you know, your email to get notified for updates. And I like the artwork of Everseed. Uh, I, I do like it. I do like the quality of these, like, crypto blockchain games that we look at are slowly going up over time as anything, any industry does, improves with time. So overview, again, Everseed is a new wondrous world of enchanted flora and fauna. Adventure awaits those who dare delve into the overgrowth, searching to collect rare seedlings. So if we look at their teaser trailer, it is very cool, very clean. And I'll link the website for Everseed below so you can get in here, look at their sub stack page that we were looking at, read about the game, look at the team, look at the project, and do your own research and make your own decision on it. So if we look at the, the trailer, and again, so you, you have your Everseed in the beginning or in the middle. You place it, and you see where that kind of that tower defense at the tower defense uh, gameplay comes in. So you defend your Everseed, and it, here's a world of Everseed. So whenever you get done adventuring, you can come back, use what you collected to grow, and you can see again the artwork of the world itself is very cool. And you can interact with NPCs around the map. And, you know, this, again, this is just right now. The game is not out. It is in development. But I do like how they say it's a farm to tabletop MMO coming 2022, hopefully. So that is very cool to see. 
you know, explore the wilds. So if we look here, we'll go back, you know, venture into the untamed, unknown world with your companions, forage for magical wonders off the beaten path, repel enemy swarms away from your crops, reap the rewards until your journeys return, and tend to land plants and seedlings together with your guild. You know, there are going to be collectibles, like these little guys here, little, uh, again, your pets, your companions. So you can play for keeps, play for impact. You know, all tradable good and ever seeds farmers markets have been carefully searched for maximum longevity and sustainability. So it is very cool. And since it is powered by soul, which is already carbon neutral, they do have their promise that they will always be carbon negative. Very nice to see. We can see their roadmap here. But I do want to go to their sub stack, sub stack page to look at the roadmap. I do think it's a little bit better broken down over here. So we can see here 2022, they launched their website, community launch, teaser trailer. And they are still working on for this year at the current roadmap unless it gets revamped, which could happen. Genesis NFT launch, prototype builds, you know, avatar parlor, parlor vertical slice, play test. And then 2023. Social hub, metagame systems, early access, closed alpha for the web, open beta, mobile launch, guilds, co-op mode, content creator modes. You know, so those are some things that they are working on. Again, early access, closed beta, early 2023. If everything just lines up so well, maybe end of the year. But I would really aim for that, you know, end of 2020 or the beginning of 2023. And we see there genesis nft launch you know they did have the alexa purchases avatar creators and i believe they do have it over on the solana blockchain um you know some nfts you can take a look at and again if we look they do have the roadmap here as well you know just to note of where they're at and the team again what is brought behind is guys from riot games and you can look at their twitter their discord their telegram put your information put your email in here to get a little bit more info or to look at their Substack page. But either way, guys, that is Ever Seed. Just a, again, like a tower defense MMO game that I wanted to take a look at for you guys. And just to bring to your attention, you know, something that I think could be very well done and the artwork wise could be very cool. But uh, yeah, guys, that is Ever Seed. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this project. If there's anything I missed on this project, I guarantee I probably did. And uh, if you can let me know if there's any other projects you want me to take a look at, and I'll do my own research, and I might just make a video on them. And if you can like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share the video. And otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. See you guys.